in with the end in mind. Think about packing for or planning a vacation. The first thing you do is set your learning target, which happens to be your goal. Our learning target today is packing for an effective trip. The end result of everything that we have the students doing is the summative assessment. And for a trip, some of the uh, parts of the summative assessment would be, what do we do when we get there? What mode of transportation would we be taking? How much money do we need? Our budget. Where do we stay? Then we look at the formative. Formative is actually the practice to get to the summative. As we look at each part of the formative, we must also look at what are we going to do when we get there? What are some of the different things we can do in terms of sightseeing, planning, business meetings? Also, what is our mode of transportation? We need to practice and look effectively to see if we're going by train, by air, by car. Do we need a rental car? We also need to look at where to stay. What kind of hotel, what kind of amenities would be part of that? And then we also need to practice and look at our budgets. How much money do we have to actually spend on this adventure? All of those comprise the formative, which is practice to get to the summative. And after all of that practice, how do the students know exactly what you, the instructor, what you're looking for? Well, that's where the rubric comes in. And the rubric spells out everything with all the different levels from basic to uh, advanced and it shows the students everything that they need um, to uh, do well on the summative assessment. And also our final component is assessing student work. Here is where we get the opportunity to look, get feedback about the vacation, did everything go well? We can also look at TripAdvisor and write a final review.